Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 13th, 2020. I love this imagery already. The soil feels rich. It feels like growth is happening. (laughs) The seed is sprouting and we're starting to see signs of life here. We're starting to see progress. Yeah, that's the word that they're coming through with is progress. So the card is brown, established boundaries. The number is 12. Okay. So 12, you could reduce it to three, I suppose, but 12, look at all the patterns of 12 there are out there. It's a very significant number. And I keep hearing completion. It's time to let go of like all the stuff that's even bothered you. Time to let that go. Let the old fights go. And I know that might be a little bit difficult right now because you know, people joke, oh, everybody's within close quarters, but everyone was, you know, I know I got into some huge fights where I was done with some people. I mean, I, that's really where I was because I was just like, I can't, I can't keep on with this old dynamic anymore. It's completed. And then I thought the only way to do this is to walk away from this when really all I had to do was walk away from the fight. Uh, You know, with the people, we can reestablish that. But with boundaries here, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's going to be different for every person out there. If you're in an abusive situation, that's not going to go that way. Please make sure that you get some help, okay? Reach out to someone and see, you know, a professional who can help you with that. But this established boundaries is talking about protect what's growing right now. Protect that. Protect that from the old memories. Protect that from the old patterning or the old conditioning. Have you noticed that people who have maybe some toxicity, all of our toxic, all of us have some bit of that in us, right? Because we're human. And we're going to get angry and frustrated and have our judgments and what have you. But all of that's coming up to the surface now. But I think a real test is who is still living in that, right? And who's coming on through. So, we're going to start seeing people who often feed off of others, right? This whole message here is established boundaries. We're going to start seeing them really stand out. Whereas before, they could, you know, they just operate with the rest of us and none of us ever called them out and none of the, you know, because everyone's trying to be a peacekeeper, I guess. But if that's your role in this world, that's a beautiful thing. But when someone has a, a different kind of, <laughs> uh, you know, purpose and, and we're supposed to go, hey, guys, do you see this over here? We should probably work on this. You know, don't, don't get down on that person because now is the time. Now is the time to look at that. You don't have to get super invested in it. You don't want to let it drain you. But don't look away. Don't just look away and pretend like things aren't happening. And that would be for your own relationships as well. Some of you might have realized, wow, you know, maybe maybe you're somebody, God forbid, who uh, a family member has been sick and your boss was kind of like, oh yeah, sorry to hear about that. Anyway, you have those reports for me. This is where you have complete freedom to speak up and say, no, that's unacceptable. I need a moment with my family. And if you say, I wish I could do that, my boss, your boss is no better than you what? You can't say that. I sure can. And I'll say it again. Your boss is no better than you. There you go. Now, does that mean you go and get in your boss's face and (laughs) start a fight? Tell them off? No, that's not helping anything either. You're establishing a boundary where it is appropriate. All right. So use today to see kind of what that feels like for you. All right, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.